Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Amy. And this is our dog, Jagger. We left our beautiful home in Maui and built ourselves a home on wheels. And now we would like to invite you to join us as we drive from California to Panama. Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we explore the volcanic mountains around Santa Maria del Oro before heading back to the coast and the town of Sayulita. Coming in to the town of Sayulita. Travel gods, please bless us with a cheap place to stay. Sayulita is a nice town in a picturesque bay. Though a bit crowded and touristy, it was just what we were looking for at the time. Amy's little sister and cousin were coming to visit in a couple weeks, and we had promised Amy's dad we would find somewhere easy and safe to take them. Also, Snowmaster had offered to send us a new refrigerator to replace our broken one, but we hadn't stayed anywhere long enough to receive a package. Sayulita provided a good place to relax, get connected, and wait for our new refrigerator to arrive in Puerto Vallarta. We are at a really nice campground, RV area that has bungalows and everything, and um, it's pretty expensive for camping, but there's internet, there's bathrooms, there's, yeah, there's plenty of facilities. Uh, the town in general is just, you know, everything's a little bit more expensive. What you got there, Matt? I caught a little fishy. Uh, my little fishing pole. The magic little reel or uh, lure? Lure. Always a good strategy to go with the lure that's got the most stuff going on. This one's got a bright thingy, shiny thingy, and a feather tail. So It like pretty much swallowed the lure, so I couldn't get the lure out in time to like do a catch and release. So we're gonna try to eat it. So we know this is called a ladyfish. At least we're pretty sure that's what it is. Thanks to the internet. Yep. Um, and it is traditionally used as a bait fish, which is what we nearly used it as, just based on its appearance. Uh, but. We're going to try to make fish cakes. You like the ladyfish? These are good cakes. Good morning. It's day 43, so it's been about six weeks that we've been on our journey. And we are camping in Sayulita. A pretty great little campground. A couple things I can complain about, but overall it's been great. It's right on the beach and it's got a lot of amenities. And we are shipping off today. Uh, we've been here for, I don't know, almost a week. And Matt has taken the opportunity um, of electricity to shave. Nice look there, dear. Thanks, honey. <laughs> um, so, we always have the idea like, oh, let's get up, get going. Um, but it's a lot of work packing up all this stuff, which is why we like to stay somewhere as long as we just did. Uh, even if it is a little expensive, it was nice to not do this 
long routine. So um, we have to pack away our solar panels. That actually ends up being one of the very last things that we do because uh, we want to get some juice. Um, we've got all of our chairs. We've got to clean the stove. Look at that. Who's cooking in here? <laughs> so we've got to pack away all of our dishes. Uh, every single surfboard we own practically is out at this point. <laughs> so we gotta put all those away. Um, and today's a big day because we get our new refrigerator. Yes! So how much is the fridge going to take? Uh, 722. Pesos. To get it out of FedEx, uh, it's the taxes. Yeah. This side up, huh? <laughs> este es muy caro. Sí. Sí. <laughs> With our new refrigerator loaded up, we made our way through the cobblestone streets of Puerto Vallarta and headed south in hopes of finding some uncrowded surf. Internets that there's a wave right over there where that guy's floating on the inner tube. <laughs> you can't see it, but there's a guy sort of splashing around floating on an inner tube. Um, doesn't seem to be happening or look like it ever would. <laughs> Maybe when it's really big. Maybe when it's really big. That's okay. They have a big, giant, great white shark over there. Kind of scary. Pretty Cute. Sweet statue to have right in the entrance of your beach. <laughs> <laughs> Cute little town though. Yeah. Yeah, lots of little like places to stay it looks like. And uh, lots of little seafood restaurants that fish probably comes right from those boats into those restaurants. So but it's really good. Hi, it's day 44 and we are staying in a little place called El Ranchito. We came to this place that, once again, Iowa Verlander had said was pretty cool, and we do like it. It's pretty groovy. The owners here are like really, really, really nice. We hashed it out today. We've got till the 17th, and today is the 6th, so uh, 11 more days before my cousin and sister come into Puerto Vallarta. And we already drove south, hoping to find some better surf, and that's not working out. It's already like almost three hours south of Puerto Vallarta. So we're hesitant to go any more south just because of the cost of gasoline. And you never know, it might not even actually be that great. So we've been weighing our options and there is a good chance we may just stay here like a total of 12 nights. The environment's really chill. So far there's not like a lot to do. Uh, it's been pretty windy, but they said it's not normal. We're hoping we can maybe like get some fishing or spear fishing maybe even and a lot of video editing done.
27th. And we have come back down to this little town. Uh, for the life of Matt and I, we cannot remember how to say the name of it, even though someone taught us how to say it. It's not, it's not easy uh, for us. So anyways, we're here, it's a cute little beach, definitely still no surf, not that we anticipated there would be. We just came down here to uh, stock back up on beer and food and make the best out of it, have a little bit of a beach day. Matt is out spear fishing and Jagger and I are playing with the ball and talking to you guys and reading some books. our second store we've been into. The other one had no fruits and vegetables and this one has like four carrots and some iffy looking cauliflower. Um, but it does have eggs. Alright, what do you think of this cauliflower, Matt? Not much in here. This might. Oh. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. Okay. We're not having much luck. So we overheard before we left to go to the store about the people who own the place we're staying at waiting for a food truck. Um, They're talking with one of their neighbors that hangs out a lot. I think all the stores in town are also waiting for the food truck because. None of them have any fresh food. A vegetable truck showed up. They got broccoli and eggs and pineapples. Okay. okay. Um, Do you need any peppers or anything? Oh, it's poblanos. The, um, poblanos? Serrano. No, no, serrano is muy uh, caliente. Picoso. Picoso? No, like that? Spicy. Mexicano. Oh, spicy. Picoso. Um, uh, I know. <laughs> what is he making fun of me about? Caliente, that's only Mexican guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I just failed on footage. Um, so we got our fridge. even gotten to its temps quite yet. I mean it only been on like an hour and a half but night and day when the sun is shining versus cloudy. See that little smiley guy? We just want him to be super happy all the time. We don't understand anything that's going on on this thing at all ever. Never trust someone that's that happy. <laughs> We just got a little glimmer of hope for surf. Um, I saw some like local kids, like family kids here, come back uh, in a truck with a skimboard. So I started asking some questions, and it sounds like there might be a wave like 30 minutes south or 15 minutes north, but uh, I don't think they wanted to tell us 
much about it. Not surprising. Um, but it sounded like the one south was a little bit more consistent maybe. And then they kind of started to shut up, realizing we were probably going to go look for it. So on Thursday, uh, and today is Sunday, there is a little bit of a bump. So we decided there was no point in looking for a wave unless there was actually some swell in the water. So we're going to chill here and just keep working on video editing and relaxing and fishing. And then on Thursday, hopefully, we go find some surf. And off again we go in the search of waves. to camp, we were told that the local turtle research station was expecting some turtles to hatch that night, so we decided to go check it out. The University of Guadalajara runs this turtle research station, and they give a free speech about olive ridley, black, hawksbill, and leatherback sea turtles. They explain their process in collecting and protecting the eggs, and then they told us all to line up parallel to the surf. We were each given a sea turtle and allowed to release it into the sand. We got to watch them crawl down the sand and into the surf. It was pretty awesome. so good here so on we go down south all right we're in Emiliana Zapata uh, it's a little town just before Arroyo Seco and we blew a tire the other day and 
We were gonna get new tires when we were in the States before we even went on this trip, like good all terrains. Uh, but the tires we had on our truck were good, so it was kind of hard to spend the money, and we figured we could just spend it the moment that we needed to. Um, so we still have three decent tires, but it's time. So it's time to get new tires. We were gonna do it originally. So here we are. Uh, Matt was skeptical that he was gonna find the kind of tires he was looking for at a little random Yantaria in Mexico, but we were here. I said, why don't you just go check? And sure by gosh darn they do. So uh, we are gonna get some tires. Alright, these are the babies. Matt says we're supposed to get. There they are. And they're gonna run us some, um, I don't know, Matt says somewhere around $600 mounted and balanced. So, yeah. Oh, they're gonna try again. I don't know what they're doing to try to offset the balance of our truck, but we've offered to take stuff out the back to lighten the load, but they don't want us to do that. This is why you're not supposed to sit here and watch people work on your car. Oh, I might have it. It's pretty close. Oh. So, um, obviously we don't have like ten, over 10,000 pesos on us and we're going to follow the owner of the Yantaria over to his uh, buddy's Fretteria, which is like a hardware store, to hopefully use the credit card machine. Right, we have arrived at Long Beach at Arroyo Seco, and it is a windy day, so we're getting totally sandblasted. And also, folks, I just want to say, slowly but surely, we're getting this fridge thing figured out. Um, well, I should really say we're trying to get the solar and the battery situation figured out, but we've been putting some beers in the freezer, and we just took one of those out after a long day of driving and we're getting, it's hot and we're getting sandblasted. Holy moly, it was so good, so cold. Back there is the town of Arroyo Seco. And that is the little beach town. And this is our little campground. I don't know why, he's not going to be able to get that out of the water. Alright, well he's definitely trying to drag that stick in. It's pretty funny. You never know when that dog's going to wake up and feel like a puppy. Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, we pick up our sister and cousin from the airport and head back to Sayulita for some nice wholesome family fun.
this huge bag of trash here in the Nicoya Peninsula of Costa Rica. And this beach right here is cleaner due to your contributions. Thank, Thank you. you.